Hey, RB here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm mixing up today stuffing muffins, which includes two packages of instant stuffing mix, uh, three green onions chopped, approximately a cup and a half of celery diced, one medium carrot diced. Two to two and a half cups of shredded cheese. I'm using a marble cheese mix. You put about three quarters of that in and leave about a quor three quor or quarter or half a cup of shredded cheese aside. Two cups of warm water and two tablespoons of vegetable oil, which I've already added to the water, and two eggs lightly beaten. And you mix it all up and then you Spread it evenly amongst the muffin tins. I'm using a 12 cup muffin tin, so it approximately makes 12 stuffing muffins. Which are gonna be cheesy. Cheesy. But anyway, let me get mucking up and I'll keep you posted. Oh, and preheat your oven around 175 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit to 200 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and approximately this will take about 30 to 40 minutes in the oven to bake so anyhow like I said it's just simply delicious keep posted Already added the water. Now the two eggs, lightly beaten. Mix it up thoroughly. It's a real simple recipe, quick and easy, especially for this time of year down in the U.S. or Christmas. Christmas time, you can add like dried cranberries to it. Chop up some ham, your cooked ham, or your uh, sliced ham for lunch meat. Chop some of that up. Or if you have like your boneless smoked hams that you're cooking, you're re cooking the oven, that kind of deal, chop it up. Or like bits of sausages, ground beef, not too much. I want to keep that stuffing flavor. But I'm using carrots, chopped onions, or chopped green onions, celery, and shredded marble cheese. As you can see, it's mixing up nicely. Or instead of two tablespoons of cooking oil, you can use two tablespoons of melted butter. Or if you like the buttery flavor, add about three tablespoons. But, it's just that simple. Keep posted. Alrighty, I'm back. What I've done is I've lightly greased a 12 cup muffin tin. I used a um, cooking spray. Uh, or you can use, you can grease it up with vegetable oil whatever your choice and now you just get your spoon and start to evenly fill each tin just like making muffins Stirring it as even as possible. Give any leftover, then top off the ones that look like they need topping off. But I will keep you posted. Yeah. 
And in the oven they go. There they go. Put it in the middle, put the rack in the middle, and away you go. And we'll check back in about 30 minutes. I'll keep you posted. Hey, Kira. Hey, Fluffy. Puppy girl. Hi. There's the head chef, Kira. Come and inspect my work. See how I'm doing. She's always got a nose for food. Isn't that right? There's her signature mushroom. Like I said, Jessica Love calls her her hippie girl. What are you looking for? Kira. Fluffy. Hi. Can you say hi to everyone? Hi. The tail just a wagon. Hi there. What are you doing, sweetie? You come to check things out? Yeah, you just come down for a drink of water, didn't you? But, there she is. You'll catch her on Jessica Love Channel. On her inspirations. Well, she's thirsty. She knows there's a good meal coming. Keep you posted. The nail brush. The dishwasher's best friend, especially when it comes to vegetable peelers. As you can see, you get a little groove in there and it gets gummed up with carrot, sludge, whatever you want to call it. The nail brush gets right in there and gets rid of all that gunk. Once again, another tip in the kitchen. Oh boy, look at them. Almost done. Now just take your extra cheese and put a dab on top. Try to get it on the muffin. You do your best to distribute it evenly amongst the muffins. Also what I've done, I've chopped up some of the green onions, just the green stems, or added that color to it, and flavor. Like I said, jazzes it up a little bit. Or like I said, if you want, use like dried cranberries. They give it that festive look. And because it's stuffing, I'm going to add a dash of sage. To each of them. <laughs> or a little extra, but <coughs> excuse me. Then back in the oven for another ten minutes. Oh, away they go. Keep you posted. Well, there you go. All done. Look at the cheese. Look at that. Oh, and the smell. Oh, only the ice can smell this. Wow. Look at that. Woo, masterpiece. Real simple recipe, doesn't take that long to prepare. All under about an hour. 
if you prep maybe hour hour and a half in total time you're prepping and then you're mixing and then you're baking in the oven but there you go 